praise the name of the lord god bless you hallelujah hello guys welcome to my youtube channel everyone that is joining us for the very first time this is the first time you're seeing me my name is samuel e molombe the man god uses i welcome you in jesus mighty name if you are family you always come back to watch our videos thank you thank you god bless you hallelujah to the lamb of god amen and amen i have a good word from the lord i have a very 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 serious prophetic word and this concerns your kingdom marriage hallelujah praise the lord this concerns your kingdom marriage the lord says that your kingdom husband may be a little embarrassed at the moment the lord says that your kingdom husband may be a little embarrassed at the moment let us pray father i thank you for this time i thank you for your word in my mouth i pray for understanding over your people as they listen to this lord you know who has this word i pray that you help them understand it and you help them um, walk in the light of this word in jesus name amen hallelujah so family the lord says that god speaks to jacob and it lights up israel god speaks to jacob and he lights up israel he sent a word to jacob that's actually how that scripture puts it let me let me get that scripture for you again i did not intend to read it it just came to my spirit if i knew i would prepare it beforehand so the bible says that god sends a word um to jacob and it lighted upon israel that is uh isaiah chapter isaiah chapter 9 verse 8 the lord sent a word into jacob and it had lighted upon israel and all the people shall know that even Ephraim and the inhabitants of samaria you know the lord sent a word into jacob and it lighted upon israel what does that mean god speaks to one man and it bets an entire nation god speaks to one person and an entire people are blessed by that word this prophetic word is coming to you today so that the word of the lord can light up your marital destiny the word of the lord can show you exactly what is going on even right now in the realms of the spirit so this prophetic word came to me in a vision this prophetic word came to me in a vision if you have been on this platform for a while i have told you that if i say you know i had a dream it's different if i have a vision it's literally like you watching me but the difference is my eyes were closed it's a reality it was going on it was happening i mean about the same time so in my vision i saw this figure i saw this man and it looked as if the man had been caught in an act that he was so embarrassed he was ashamed of like a group of people came and you know were kind of mocking him or something and i i i know the person that i saw in the vision but i've walked to the lord for a while to know that it, it might not even concern that person it, and when i prayed about it the lord wanted me to put out the word so in my vision i saw this person had been pulled out of an act that is despicable on i mean it it was um it was embarrassing to explain such an act that you know people hear it and they are like oh my god he didn't just do that you know because i saw a group of people gathered and they were looking at this person with a scornful eye with a with an insultive look and all of that all of a sudden i saw this female figure come into the place and this person was standing the head bowed and i saw the person hug this guy and whispered something into this guy's ears i couldn't hear what the person whispered and the guy woke up like literally was alive and started explaining his part of the story and even was trying to say like he has evidence to prove that you know it is not exactly as much as they have painted the story then i woke up so I, I took note of three things number one there was a man who was in the midst of so many people head down ashamed number two i saw a figure come and hug the person literally and then spoke a word while hugging the person to the person's ears and number three i saw this person wake up i don't know what this person said but this this guy woke up and started acting up very well again in my vision it was people i know but truly it doesn't concern them 
because when i went to the lord to pray the lord told me this is not concerning this brother you saw and this sister that you saw as a matter of fact they are in two different worlds as a matter of fact the people that saw in the vision i don't know if they are ever going to meet in this life you know but the lord was using that to show me that there is somebody whose kingdom spouse is in an embarrassing moment or is going through something very embarrassing maybe you are dealing with this even right now when you have received news that your kingdom spouse or your ordained is in in a mess and you are asking yourself if to stand with him or not this prophetic word is coming at this time it's not a coincidence god is saying that your love you see the person made gave a hug and whispered something your love and encouragement to your kingdom spouse even at this time is going to do a lot is going to do a lot okay it might be embarrassing but he needs somebody to stand with him stand with him in prayers stand with him in encouragement or just even pray father whatever is going on in the life of my kingdom husband my ordained right now i stand as an intercessor making intercessions and prayers for him so that you will set him free from every spirit of insult and spirit of shame while we are at that you must know that you have a work oh holy ghost you have a work to do in the life of your ordained all right again you have a work to do in the life of your ordained in my vision i saw you go through the crowd through the people who were insulting him and mocking him and you gave him a hug despite the fact that everybody was there watching him and insulting and you spoke a word in the ears of that ordained now that is very prophetic it shows that you have a responsibility over him in the entire scripture it is only the woman the woman that has the same responsibility as the holy spirit the bible calls the woman a comforter the bible calls the holy spirit a comforter can you imagine that only the woman the Bible says rejoice in the wife of your youth and let uh, and be comforted by you know it's all there in the scripture you can go back and read it i feel embarrassed i'm um, saying i mean what the scripture says exactly except i just read it to you you know but well you can go there and and you know get to read it and understand you know um what scripture was talking about right so you have a responsibility over your spouse listen to this please listen please listen to this there are so many people who want a ready-made spouse remember i told you in one of the videos i put up i don't know which day but just in the, in the you know just the recent past i put up a video and i said everybody receives the calling and responds to the calling at different times sometimes your ordained has been called but has not yet received the calling so you have to be able to do the work intercede and pray yes he has the call has already been made but he has not yet received the calling right so if he has not received the calling you begin to struggle with all sorts of things in his life but the moment you begin to pray you expedite the process for him getting to receive the calling i mean for him getting to respond to the call because the call has been made so if you have already you know more than your your ordained you are more spiritually sensitive more than your ordained you understand the things of god even more it is not for you to use it to oppress him or for you to say you know what i i this i this um um it, it becomes you know when you disqualify yes that's the word uh, family i don't know what's going on i mean words are escaping my mind i disqualify this person because i have more spiritual knowledge it doesn't make sense bible says something about that it says that your unbelieving husband is sanctified by you now that's i don't want to go into that because i'm going to take you like 12 hours on this video but he says your, your, your unbelieving husband is sanctified by you what does that mean as you pray you are sanctifying him by your prayers so that he can also you are expediting the process of him receiving and responding to his calling your your ordained husband is a little embarrassed what do you have to do pray pray if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways i will hear from heaven i will forgive their sins and heal the land that's what the bible says 
so right about now god is giving you a responsibility to intercede for your ordained to pray for him and to stand with him if you have not yet met him pray for him if you have already met him and he has a situation where you need to stand this is a word that is giving you instructions on what to do i pray that the lord gives you grace to do what the scripture is talking about and what this prophetic word is saying in the name of jesus i pray that may you find the grace to be able to stand through every persecution and every attack together in jesus precious name now the lord bless you and keep you cause his face to shine on you and be gracious to you may the lord give you peace in jesus name do you receive this word with gladness family please before we go don't forget to subscribe on this youtube channel if you have not already ring the notification bell and give us a thumbs up if you found value in this prophetic word remember to take it to the lord in prayer as the lord if you are the person that this word is speaking to and if you are let me know in the comment section how this word has been a blessing to you i might want to, you might want me to join you in prayers i am ready here as your intercessor i declare the blessing of heaven over you in jesus name i love you and shalom